First Thursday in Advent, Matthew one verses twenty two to twenty five New International Readers Version. All this took place to bring about what the Lord had said would happen. He had said through the prophet, "The virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son, and he will be called Immanuel." A quote from Isaiah seven verse fourteen. The name Immanuel means God with us. Joseph woke up. He did what the angel of the Lord commanded him to do. He took Mary home as his wife, but he did not sleep with her until she gave birth to a son. And Joseph gave him the name Jesus. Therefore, the Lord Himself will give you a sign: the virgin will be with child. And will give birth to a son, and you will call him Emmanuel. Isaiah seven verse fourteen NIV. There are some hymns and carols that flavor our senses. What I mean is that the words, the tune, and the whole meaning are a package that affects one's whole being. For me, this hymn has always been a favorite. I can't explain why. Maybe it is the flowing tune, the longing wording, and the hope that in the coming of this child is the fulfillment of the deepest longing and waiting. When I was a young teenager going to Emmanuel College in South Australia, I used to like thinking it was about setting the students free from all their studies, and we as students were the captive Israel. From the above verse in Matthew, we understand the meaning to the name Emmanuel, meaning God is with us, and that is just who Jesus came to the earth to be, God living in and amongst His people. This carol has its origins in the eighth or ninth century as a monastic O antiphon or chant in Latin. But in 1851, John Mason Neal translated it into English. The words and tune were developed separately. The tune has its origins in 15th century France, but in 1851, the tune adapted by Thomas Helmore was paired with the words and published in an early hymnal for the Episcopal Church. There were originally seven verses. But through revisions, the four verses remain in our current Lutheran Church of Australia hymnal. Sometimes it is easy to dismiss the older hymns as not relating to life today, both in style and music. Maybe through these devotions and through gaining further understanding to the deeper story and meaning of these hymns slash carols, they may be seen in a different light and become new again. No matter the century we live in, we are always in need of a savior who is sent to earth by a loving God. We wait expectantly for Jesus coming at Christmas and the return. Second coming, and we know that in Jesus is the victory, and in that we rejoice. Prayer. O come, O come, Emmanuel! You were born in order to pay the ransom required to free the captive Israel people and also the Gentiles. We mourned in lonely exile here on this earth until you. The Son of God appeared. Help us to rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. You have come to us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Help me believe and trust in what Jesus has done for me. Amen. Sing, O come, O come, Immanuel.